Hi. <laughs> Hi, Baba. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. Long time no see. Today I thought I would do a little day in the life vlog. We don't have much going on today because it's a very gloomy day, which stinks because today is actually Rex's birthday. He turns three years old today, which is wild. But right now it is 7.50 a.m. We started the day off before 5 a.m. I showed at 5, like 11, I think it was, that um, started his bottle. But before then, you know, he was up. But then took care of him, all that jazz. Then he went back to sleep. I tried to go back to sleep, but just ended up laying there. Couldn't, of course, I never can. Ah, my hair. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then we got up and we played a little bit. Yeah, and I just got ready for the day. Chunker monkers, chunker monkers. <laughs> He's gotten so big since the last time you saw him because I haven't posted in like over a month. One of my favorite parts of the day is waking up the house. Oh, there's someone out there walking their dog. Oh, is that one of your friends? A good boy. Do you want breakfast? Do you want some yummy breakfast for your birthday? And there's a handsome boy. Hi. <laughs> Do you want to like this boy? Here's a birthday breakfast. Now let's grab the other Mr.'s breakfast. Um, we still have some of this. And where? And cucumbers from our very messy fridge. Let's do a magic trick real quick. And wash these. Ready? <laughs> Voila! No more? I swear he likes it, but it's always the first couple of bites. He's like, what the heck? What is that? <laughs> Your brother wants it. Oh. There you go. You're so cute. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> that smile. Well, today may be an interesting day because he only ate, he ate less than half of what he usually eats for breakfast. Not like him at all. I know like the last couple days he's had a little bit less of an appetite because I think his teeth are really bothering him. Like horrible sleep, less of an appetite. All that jazz. We'll see how today goes. <laughs> Maybe it was just like a little fluke. And he, oh, he'll have a big bottle of milk in less than an hour anyway. So I'm gonna go play with him because he's a little grumpers. And yeah. On our way upstairs, should we say, should we say good morning to the fishers? Let's turn on the light. Say good morning. You know, your fishers. Now let's go up. Oh, you want the camera. You want the camera. Maybe you guys will witness his new trick. Oh. 
Oh, that one didn't really work too well. <laughs> he goes, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. launch. <laughs> He's so cute. Get ready. Oh, do you want, you want something in here now? Oh, no, you want this. Yeah. That's your favorite toy. You wanna fall on it? You wanna fall on it? Wow! Good job! You want another one? Blue again? Wow! Where are you going? You gonna launch at me? Oh my goodness. Yellow! Good job! Uh oh, here comes the launch! <laughs> Hi! Our baskets more fun than what's in them? I love you. What? What about the pink one? Ooh, oh no! So we start off with three books. So I grabbed the Berenstein Bear Sleepy Time book, Kitten's First Full Moon, and Mickey's Adventure from Walt Disney World. So we start off with that, and then we usually do a lot more, right? So she closed her eyes and stretched her neck and opened her mouth and legs. But Kitten only ended up with a bug on her tongue. Poor Kitten. That is awkward. Oh my god, the landscaper just saw me. That is so f***ing awkward. Especially considering... <laughs> I'm puffing right now and I was just about to film. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so now I just pray that that doesn't happen again. That guy doesn't come to the front window and make eye contact with me because that was so uncomfortable. But <laughs> Johnny is down for a nap now. I am pumping. And yeah, I just thought I'd fill you in that this past summer was just a bit rough for me mentally. So that's why I just didn't film, didn't want to for the last two months or so, I think. Yeah, I just didn't feel like doing it. So that's all, because I mean, this is a hobby. I have been baking a ton. I made a little food Instagram. When I'm not doing well, Depression, eat a ton. Anxiety, bake a ton. Like do do something with my like brain or hands, something. It's either like I love planning a trip or something, but even then I'm so nervous. Like my excitement of planning trips is just like, it's still there a little bit, but it's not as much because now I'm just thinking about all the million things we have to do with a baby and all, which is amazing things, not complaining. When I'm talking about being tired or something like being a mom, it's never a bad thing. It's just venting. Venting, not complaining, because I wouldn't trade this for anything. For to be billionaire, to not have an anxiety, I would much rather be like swarmed with the worst thoughts ever. <laughs> and have Johnny, <laughs> then not have Johnny. I don't even know what I was going on about. I think I was just telling you what I've been doing the last two months is basically baking. I'm actually going to bake something today, I think. These banana chocolate chip bars that are so good. I made once a couple weeks, maybe that was like over a month ago, and it was so good. So I'm going to make them again. Um, I have a banana defrosting. I was thinking about going to the library today. I may, but I want to go there and check out some like Halloween fall books for Johnny. They have discounts for certain things like around like Long Island. Like the, the only thing like I care about is the Long Island Aquarium. You get it pretty much for like more than half off, I think, tickets. So why not? You know, you just need a library card, so. 
I really want to do that because I want to go to an aquarium with Johnny. I really want to see how he will be because I think he would be just amazing. He loves our little fish tank. I mean, it's a big fish tank, I guess, for a house. Well, not, I've seen, you know, the Richies that have like a wall of fish. That's crazy. Tyler wants to do that one day. That's not our lifestyle though, <laughs> so. I'm just really going off on so many random tangents. I just, I guess I really needed to talk to myself today <laughs> or talk to you, but yeah, not much going on today. I just thought I would pick up the camera because I kept being like, oh, I want to do it, I want to do it. Then a family member passed away, got really down. Something else happened, got down again. <laughs> But yeah, so also, if you've been watching, and I did that 75 hard when my family member passed away, I stopped that because I stopped working out every day, like inside. Then like a week after, then, I, then that's when the bad eating started. So yeah, that's bad. So then I gained six pounds. Now I'm like down again to what my lowest was. Lowest of this, lowest of postpartum. Yeah, so that's over. But I made it 40 days. I think it was 41 days. So I'm pretty proud of myself for doing that. It was pretty tiring waking up at 5 a.m. every day to work out, which now I would honestly rather do than wake up at 4 something a.m. And then, you know, but which I could, but then whatever, I'm just making excuses. And then I got my wisdom teeth out a week ago. No, now it'll be, it's, two weeks ago. Tyler got his out this week. So it's just been lots of mush around in this house. Now it, I'm fine and I can eat and everything. My right side still like I'm not chewing, chewing, chewing on that right side because it's the bottom. But my left side is fine. It's like a tooth didn't even come out of that side because it was top and then top and bottom. This has been four minutes of me rambling and I hope you enjoy it. I love watching people ramble so hopefully you do too but I do hope to keep this going hopefully this gets me to film more I've just been so drained honestly no one wants to watch someone just complaining later in the day maybe I'll go through my Disney plans with you for January so maybe I'll do that but I'll see you later the mister just woke up. I'm having breakfast. It's 10 o'clock. Whoa! This is what I'm having. Some cinnamon rice cakes with peanut butter and banana and then with some dates. That looks gross, <laughs> but <laughs> some dates with um, that like oat house brand. Oh, don't even. It's supposed to be like healthier and then Ish brownie, like it tastes like brownie batter, but like it's made of oats. And Johnny just dropped his bankers. And Rex is here, of course. Hi. I just gave him half a banana. <laughs> Look at that beautiful boy. <gasps> Look at the beautiful boy. You're just looking at mommy's food. <laughs> You're gonna have your baba soon. Another baba. Mr. is the boy, he said it's Baba. He said it's Baba. Now what should we do? What should we do? Oh my gosh, she's already acting sleepy. My sweet angel boy. <laughs> oh my god. Just look at that kid. Wow. <laughs> and look at that boy. Wow. We're going to really celebrate his birthday on Sunday. Since Tyler has work today, we're going to go on Sunday to his favorite dog park. And maybe this town, Northport. It's not close to the dog park, but, oh my goodness, this boy. But it's a very like dog friendly town. So it's like the one we live in, but like it's one of those that they have treats and dog bowls and stuff outside and it's just so nice and on the water so we might do that but we'll see how the weather holds up we may just do the dog park and then just you know 
likes his snuggly snuggles. But of course, he'll get some snuggles today. He has some new things for later. But I'm not gonna, you know, give him stuff when Tyler's not home. <laughs> Just rubbing his head into my hair. But I may put Johnny in his little sander thingy or in his bouncer. I don't know. While I get some stuff done around the house. And he can watch while well, Playtime with Alchus came on. But Baby First, the channel. We love Baby First in this household. His last nap, I only was able to pump and then start just assembling my breakfast and then he woke up. So I didn't really get much time. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> so let's do that. I honestly caught up on laundry, dishes, all that jazz. Yesterday evening, I really, <laughs> Johnny's so cute, he's just staring at me. Yesterday evening, I really did good on me because I prepped a ton of things like I didn't prep any veggies which I need to do but I just prepped some rice tofu and then peppers and onions so that I can just make it into little bowls as they go and add sauce and stuff um, but after I did that I did all the dishes and then I cleaned I wiped down the counters really deep cleaned the stove I don't just, you know, clean that. But also the bathroom's clean, laundry's done, dishes are done. What? It's a weird day. But I was so happy at like six o'clock when it's usually like I'm doing it, I'm so tired. I was thank me. Thank you. I'm going to have to be doing dishes because I want to make the banana bread thing, but the butter's been out for a while to get room temperature, but I just took the egg out because eggs should only leave out for like 30 minutes for them to become room temperature. That's out, and when probably 11, 20-ish or whatever, I will start baking. So excited for that. It's really not much. It's so weird. I feel like I always have so many things to do in a day. And right now I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I guess I did play with Johnny Boy, which I love. But not much to show, so I'm sorry that this is kind of a dud. But I had to just, even though I don't have anything to do today, I just had to pick up the camera and start because I kept procrastinating, you know, coming back to the channel. But you know actually what I'll show you since it's 11 o'clock and I only just sit him down like, literally two minutes ago so i'll let him watch some of his show because he's so happy and i'll talk about disney okay so we're going to disney in january for johnny's first trip well first disney trip and rex's first disney trip so it's going to be a lot why did we decide to do this i don't know i don't know um but it's gonna be so much fun even though it's going to be like a lot, but we're gonna take it slow because we're gonna be there for a long time. I think I mentioned it on the channel before, but I'm not positive. Um, but if you're new here, our son, he's seven months old. He was born in March. So my husband, Tyler, has until next March to do his paternity leave. He took off, I think it was six weeks he took off or something like that. I don't know, but he has a whole month almost left one day it was like what would you think about going to florida for like you know to to spend the rest of his journey leave like maybe in january so i was like what do you mean like i am and once you cannot tell me an idea that is so amazing and like it should be an idea like we have to make it become reality so that's on him. I was looking up, like I was like looking into um, Airbnbs that would allow like a dog and then would have like a yard, like fenced in yard that you know also was just not near alligators or anything like that. And I was looking into that. I was finding places that were really nice and really good price. He wanted to stay on Disney property instead. So he mentioned staying at Fort Wilderness, their campground, like 
hotel, like their campground site, and renting an RV and doing that. Which they have dog loops, I think like three or four, that you can have a dog. We looked into that. Way more expensive than like an Airbnb or something. But he was scared about, well he would be like, I wasn't scared. But like he didn't want to risk safety. He just would rather than, he felt more safe to be on the Disney property with like a baby and a dog, which I understand. So we're going to do that. And we're going to be leaving Long Island January 1st. We were thinking about, he was like, well, maybe we leave the day before, but I don't want to be anywhere in the car on New Year's Eve. Even if we get there, like, get, because we're not going, we're going to be taking two night breaks. But even if we get to our destination early, I just don't. I'm, like, terrified of, you know, drunk drivers or people that are under the influence driving. So, we'll be leaving January 1st. What a great way to kick off the new year. And we're going to be driving to Virginia, staying the night there, because that's like Tyler's least favorite state to drive through because it's so long. Um, but driving to Virginia, staying there. Then the next day driving to Savannah, Georgia, which I've always wanted to go to Savannah, Georgia. We're only going to be there for a night, but I'm still excited to go um, drive there. So it'll be seven and a half hours to Virginia, then seven hours to Savannah. And then the next day, we'll drive to Orlando, which is a four hour drive from Savannah. We'll have time to check in, go to the grocery store, probably pick up pizza or something. It's great because the guy that we're renting the RV from, he is like Disney, he doesn't work with Dis, like for Disney or anything. He's actually um, a, like a firefighter, but he does this as a side business. He has seven RVs that he like rents out. He goes there, he sets up everything, and you just have to go there. So it's basically like going into like a hotel room because you don't have to set up the RV or anything. So it's great. So I'm so excited. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 days at Disney. Which is amazing. <laughs> like, I cannot believe that this is happening. And it's so nice because we'll take things slow to, so that we don't overdo it with Johnny. Plus, we're not going to leave Rex in the RV, like, alone. Like, that's not the purpose of bringing him, you know? We found some things to do with him. And then we're also going to do, they have, like, a best friend's dog daycare thing. It's not owned by the Disney company, but, like, they're partners or whatever we're probably going to do like either a month thing or something i don't know i think it works out that if you did if you brought your dog there five days or something then you may as well just pay for a month <laughs> so i'll probably do that because there'll probably be a couple days where we want to spend more time at the park and if it were going to be gone for more than four hours we're not going to just leave him in RV. It's just sad, you know? Plus, Disney has a rule that if you, you can't leave your animal, I think, more than like seven or eight hours, which we would never anyway. But he's a good boy anyway, and he does not bark or nothing, so I'm glad. If you're around here for Vlogmas, as well as pregnant, we went and stayed upstate in Lake Placid with Rex for his first ever vacation. So it's like a little prep. Uh, we did not know that we would be doing this, but... We wanted to just give him a really good like one-on-one -on -one vacation. Like I know he's a dog, but he's our baby. So we wanted to do that before we ended up having our son just so that he knows. He knows we love him, but we're, that's how we are. Plus the great thing about being there for so long is that we're going to be doing things that we haven't done before or that like we don't usually if we're there for like seven days we want to really pack it all in do our favorites now we have so much so we're going to be trying out new things some things that like i've done like when i was little or something and i don't really remember or you know but let me show you because you still need to make park reservations so i did that and I make the restaurant reservations in a little bit, like November 1st, yeah. Did Magic Kingdom, I thought the, like the first full day, we will just like hang out, check out the whole campground, 
uh, be with Rex a lot. Cause hopefully we do grocery shopping the night before. If we don't, then we'll just do it that day. But then I think spend the night at Magic Kingdom. I think it'll be nice like when it's like a bit, a bit cool. I know it's January anyway, but I think it'll be nice. Maybe watch the fireworks or something. We'll just, we're gonna play everything in my ear. I'm such a planner. It's a weird trip to plan because it's so long and it's also with a baby and I don't want to put any like pressure on him or like pressure on me. Like, I don't know. Next day, V Napoli, maybe. V Napoli we loved, so I thought that I would just do that. I've never tried Gideon's. If you've been to Disney, Gideon's like cookies. Never tried them, I've always wanted to, but we never go to Disney Springs. So, want to try Gideon's cookies. I just put things so random, so who knows what is going to happen. But like, cause I, this is an Animal Kingdom day. Hollywood Studios say, I really wanna try Hollywood and Vine. If you watch Paging Mr. Morrow, he always hypes up Hollywood and Vine. Their character interactions. So I thought that'd be nice. That'll be his first time meeting characters. Probably, unless we meet them some other time before then, but I really want to rent a boat at the Contemporary. And maybe since we're gonna be at the Contemporary, go to Chef Mickey's for either breakfast, probably, but maybe lunch or dinner, I don't know. Coral Reef I did when I was little, but I have not done in forever. So I want to go there. That's a place that has like fish on the wall, like a whole wall of glass with fish in it. Hoopty Doo, that's at Fort Wilderness. It'll be at our hotel, and I'm so excited for that. I love Hoopty Doo. I was a bit nervous saying like, oh God, with a baby, like what if he starts crying? But it's like Disney, like it'll be fine. The next day, Boma for breakfast. I've never tried that. Want to, that's that. So that's an Animal Kingdom day. That's Boma's at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Brown Derby, my parents really love, but I never, I don't think I've ever tried it, so I want to try that, yeah. And then we have like Magic Kingdom Day. I really want to try Regal Eagle. It's just like a quick service at Epcot. I want to go to Lakeland Antique Mall so bad, and since we have our car and everything, that'll be perfect. Then the next day, Playa Pizza. It says Pizzeria in Orlando. That's right near the parks, and you can see the fireworks, and they pump the music through the um, like outdoor seating area, and I think it'd be nice to bring Rex to that. The 16th, I don't know. We may go to Melting Pot in Orlando because that's our favorite restaurant and we go there every anniversary and that will be our nine year anniversary. Then random Epcot day. Then we're gonna check out and head to St. Augustine, which is a little bit north of Florida. It's only two hours away and be there for a little bit. Well, for that night. <laughs> and then the next day go to Charleston, which is four and a half hours away. And I am so excited. Just because like, you know, the notebook vibes, all those love movies, they're all, they're all filmed in Charleston. So I just want to drive around there, experience it a little bit. And then the next day go to New Bern, which is North Carolina. And that's where, who, Nicholas Sparks? Who did the notebook and that stuff? I think Nicholas Sparks. He grew up in New Bern and he bases every, like bases majority of his movies and stuff and books off of New Bern, but they're just not filmed there. Like the notebook is based off of it, but it's just not filmed there. And then the next day, Frederick, Fredericksburg in Virginia. And then the next day we go home. So I just wanted to share the little, not little, but the vacation. I am so excited. I hope, I really hope I film some, especially since it's his first trip, I have to. I have to get something. Like, I'm just so awkward about being in public, but I'm going to like, I know I'm gonna have a million videos on my phone. We'll see, we'll see. I'm really hoping to film on my camera. I think I will. I do think I will, I don't know. <laughs> just thought that I would spew out my excitement because I'm finally, like I was always excited, but like the thought of planning this made me sick. <laughs> But I am, I'm so, 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 so excited. But now let's go bake some banana bread bars. They're addicting. The one time I made them, oh my God, I ate them all. I think within three days, a whole entire batch of them. Well, I mean, Tyler had probably like one. But let's make them. These are all the things you need. Really not a lot at all. 
I will leave their recipe down below. I'll probably show you after it is made, but I'm not going to be showing you like me making it because I just don't feel like setting up <laughs> the tripod, honestly. So there you go. It's time. Let's put her in. Into the oven for about 33 minutes. Oh wow, that was perfect. I never do it perfect like that. I don't even know if you saw, but it got perfectly. <laughs> Hi, I know my baking partner. Are you my baking partner? Cause you love butter. You love it. <laughs> you say hi? Yeah. Tell everyone how it's your third birthday and you're a big boy, but you're still such a baby. <laughs> You're still such a baby, yeah. yeah. You're such a good boy. Oh my goodness. You're a very good boy. I love you, love you, love you. Now we gotta clean up, huh? Yeah, we gotta clean up. <laughs> He's like, I'll help you, I'll help you clean up. I'll lick the whole table for you. So while that bakes, there's 28 minutes left. I'm gonna go bring Johnny upstairs, spend some time with him because that took, didn't take very long. It took 15 minutes. So while that's happening, I'm going to play with him. I know it's only 15 minutes that he was watching TV and stuff, but it always gets to me. But um, yeah, so I'm going to do that because then he goes down for a nap in like 20-ish minutes. So I'll play with him before then. I love these little toesy wowsies. These little toesy wowsies. <laughs> They're the cutest toesy wowsies in the whole world. <gasps> I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I was laying down with Johnny. But then, hmm. Someone got jealous <laughs> and just lays right in between us. Cause he needs some lovin's. By the way, look at that great wool action. Thanks to um, Nanit's baby monitor. Thank you so much. <laughs> it got hacked into twice and then taking it off. We didn't use any excessive stuff. We literally used the adhesive that they give you to put on your wall so that the mount stays on the wall and yeah to return it because like we're not going to use it ever again take it off and that happened it wasn't a very it wasn't a very wonderful experience to say the least so but look at that cutie and look at that cutie oh my goodness oh my goodness one of my favorite parts of the day is when I put away all the like the books and the toys and I vacuum and stuff but that that happens later okay I guess you really need more love but that's like my favorite part <laughs> one of the best parts I don't know why I love cleaning his room I think because there's so much open area that vacuuming is just so nice you get to see all the vacuum lines and it's just so it's so satisfying but I think I gotta go over to where Johnny is to interact with him. He's just, he's just chewing on that toy. Which is fine, because there's a tea there too, but still. I love you. Mister crawled very far just now. <laughs> I had to quickly get him. I mean, I was just on the phone with Tyler, but he was crawling so far. Yeah, you were crawling so far. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Ba -da 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 -da. Boom, boom, boom. Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> boom, boom. Ba -da -da -da. Okay, Rex, he's like, um, no, thank you. 
It's about me. Today is all about me. <laughs> Johnny just went to sleep. I was putting him, I just changed him and then I was about to put him in the crib and then I was like, oh God, I have, some, I have this in the oven. <laughs> and I came back down here and there was one minute. I was like, thankfully, I pulled it out before I put him down just in case it took him a while. But oh my God, the house smells so amazing. I will link the recipe down below if I didn't say that already. It is truly the best. They're called like chocolate chip banana bars, but oh my God. They're so good. You have to make them. If you have two ripe bananas, make them. <laughs> so I mentioned that I prepped some food yesterday. So this is just white rice with lime zest, chili powder, um, like paprika. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> I forgot that that had that thing. Yeah, just put that here. Then some pepper and onions. I'm going to use a lot of them because I know yesterday I wanted more. So <laughs> let's just do that much. <laughs> some tofu. Heat her up. Now I'm going to dose it in a lot of Cholula. <laughs> And eat up while I watch Bob's Burgers. Guess who woke up? Johnny boy. Are you so sleepy? I love when he hugs me. He stopped nestling his head like into me because he heard like the camera sound, but oh my gosh. It's the best thing ever when he wakes up from a nap and he just wants to hug me. But now it's lunch time. Let's see if he eats better than he did breakfast. So, let's see. It's apple, zucchini, spinach, and strawberries? Wow. Wow. <laughs> what yummy foods for you. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad you like it. And yeah, I've been in sweatpants all day long. Because we've been inside all day long. We haven't even been able to go for a W, okay? Because the rain is just too gloomy. But hopefully later when Tyler gets home, we're able to go. That would be very nice. So he ate a whole package of the apple, zucchini, spinach, strawberry thing. He ate some more of his apples, blueberries, and rolled oats. Had some water. Had a little teether Gerber thing. Um, we usually don't get Gerber's. We usually get beach nut, but I had a coupon. So it is raining crazy. I don't even know if you can see how hard it's coming now. You can't really tell. So I'll clean this up and then we'll take the little booger upstairs. Are you a little booger? Are you a little stinker booger? <laughs> Boo! <gasps> Boo! <laughs> Rex likes Boo too. Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> You're such a good boy. You love your brother? Yeah, he loves you so much. I'm actually gonna leave you guys down here charging. Well, me and Mr. Go have some fun. Well, Mr. Because Rex always comes along. So, gonna leave that so that later tonight I can film some more, hopefully. Usually when Tyler's home, like, just end up not filming. But hopefully I do. He can't eat dinner yet, but I'm going to be making a head of fresh, of course. Maybe I'll film that, I don't know. Tonight's bath night, woo! So yeah, hopefully we get in a walk. But today's literally, it's just been pouring all day and we've been inside all day long. 
doing the same thing. Sundays are like this and it's repetitive and it may not be fun watching, but I'll film and post it anyway. In case it is, I like watching this stuff. So I have to keep reminding myself it's, it's fine. I am just doing this all day long. So yeah, see ya later. So I indeed did just make a last minute decision and baked <laughs> Rex a cake. He just licked the spatula. Don't worry. The birthday boy always has to lick the spoon. Yeah. <laughs> but so that's in the oven. <laughs> okay, so I just put Johnny down for his last nap of the day. It is just about to be four o'clock and Tyler should be leaving work soon. I don't remember if he said, he's late like every single day, but I don't remember if he said anything today or not, but he should be leaving work soon. It just stops raining and I mean, it's not blue skies, but it's getting like bright out, but it's still like only clouds, but it just stopped raining. So I'm hoping if Tyler comes home and then when Johnny wakes up and we could go for one, that would be really nice, but we shall see. I am very nervous about this cake. It, putting it in the pan, it looks like cake batter-ish, but it looks like a big like peanut, like well it smells like so peanut buttery. So it smells like a giant peanut butter cookie and the thought of getting out of the pan, I feel like it's, I really do feel like it's gonna fall apart right away so a wee bit nervous about that i mean it's a dog he's gonna eat it it's fine it's baked but it would be nice if it was like you know i could de decorate it i don't know i might just like put mix some yogurt with like pumpkin puree as icing and like whipped cream we shall see i'm sorry today was so boring but that is what Life is like sometimes, a lot of the times, if I don't leave the house. I honestly hate not leaving the house, especially for just like a walk. I love my morning walks and it makes me feel like bleh when it's just rainy all day. It's nice to feel like snuggling and stuff. I wanted to nap with Johnny so bad, like just, just stay. I don't even have to sleep, but just stay there and lay there his whole nap. There's no need for that. I gotta do the dishes because now I baked two things. So clean that up. I gotta also do clean up like the bottles and pump things again and stuff. But I want everything to be ready so that before dinner time, that'll be easy because I think I'm going to do some tacos, I think. Tyler won't be able to eat that though. He may be able to have ravioli. So maybe I'll do like the red pepper lemon ravioli. So. We shall see when he comes home what he says. I guess you can do the dishes with me, sure. So exciting, I know, but if he needs some motivation <laughs> to get up and do the dishes. Moment of truth for this. Tyler is down the street, so let's see if this will be good or not. I mean, it's not like we're eating it, but I want to look cute for my Rexy boy. Oh, thank you. Thank you, God. I did not think that was going to come out in one. Wow. I love myself right now. <laughs> the 
Thank you, God. Okay, so now I'm gonna throw that pan in the sink again. But I'm gonna let this cool and I'm gonna ice it. I'm so excited. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> what you got? You're such a good boy. It's called Wolfman. And it just gives like a little bit of a glow to your face. It has sunscreen. Look you all good. While I'm cooking. Sorry, I haven't been filming since my husband got home, but just gave Rex his birthday cake and I filmed it on my phone, so I'll throw it in. Such a good boy. I just hope he knows how much we love him because we love him so much. He's our first little angel. Now I'm going to just get the house ready. It is. 6.30, I'm so tired. From what, I don't know. I guess just being a mom, just tired, but going to get the house ready and then do bath time. And then after bath time, I shower, because Tyler already showered after he got home from work. I shower and then go up to bed. Bottle, pump, watch a cooking show probably and yeah or bob's burgers which i guess is a cooking show <laughs> so that'll probably be a montage or something who knows Perfect doggy over there. Well, thank you so much for watching the video. This is the end. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was basically nothing except talking, but today was just a chatty vlog. As you can see, he's chatty too. Yeah, and I feel like I didn't even really show like a lot of what I did today, but you know, it was nice talking to you. If you need someone to talk to, I'm always here to chat, but I hope you have a wonderful night or day whenever you're watching. Right now I'm just pumping while Johnny Boy's here. He's about to go to sleep because he just had his last bottle and he's always in his Delulu. His delusional hour. If you just talk to him, he laughs. If you look at him, he laughs. He's just so amazing. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day, a great week, a great month, a great life. And if you'd like to subscribe, it would mean a lot. But yeah, I'm hoping to be posting more. So bye.